Unsteady hand. I'm in the car with my dad. Say hello. Good morning. <laughs> um, he's driving me to work because my car is at the garage. I'm starting the day off today with cesarean sections, which is really cool because all the babies I deliver today will have the same birthday as me. How fun! I have a very fun weekend planned, so I'm excited and I can't wait to bring you guys along. with Sol. Hello. Um, I finished work early today so we're going to the gym. Birthday! I had one delivery and How lovely is that? it was a girl! Yay! Little baby Seppi! Um, that's not what they named her but yeah. <laughs> Imagine if they did that. But you know like that's one thing that we like joke about like with parents and stuff and we're always like have you thought of a name that I like, know I'm like Seppi's a good one. <laughs> so yeah we're going to the gym. I'm so hungry but I just had some birthday cake from last night so that definitely curved my appetite and it's raining all of a sudden so it's raining quite heavily actually Sol and I just finished our workout we're doing some stretching and I don't know what we're doing after I'm literally laying like this in the gym the light's quite bad here but yeah, I'm literally laying like that in the gym, waiting for school, and yeah, I don't know what we're doing after. What did you call my lap? There's no weight. There's no weight. Oh. <laughs> so I did some shopping in Front Cross, and I thought I would show you what I got from Space and K and boots there's also like a larger bag which is basically hair hair stuff so from space and k i ran out of so much makeup guys this was just essentially a makeup top up for me i got the sheer loose powder the translucent powder in the jumbo size the normal size is 38 pounds this one was 49 and it's got i think like 20 grams more of the product so so much more worth it it's essentially double the size for only 10 pounds more and it comes with a powder puff so fabulous i also ordered my contour stick from milk makeup which they deliver to you for free because they didn't have it in store perfect from boots i got my favorite all-time foundation ever it's the it cosmetic cc cream in medium tan the only thing i would say is the shade rubs off the bottle or isn't even printed on the bottle half the time which makes it so annoying so yeah make sure you memorize your shade i'm the shade medium tan it's my absolute favorite um i have eczema so for me this just feels like i'm putting on a moisturizer but it has the best coverage i like it more than any foundation in the past couple weeks i've tried the dior foundation and also the nars foundation again and it just does not do my skin the justice that this does it's my fave I got the Huda Beauty Eyeliner. This is the Lifeliner Quick and Easy Pen. I have repurchased this twice. I love it so much and it's just really like fine. It makes drawing your eyeliner so much nicer. Then I got my favorite mascara. This is the Benefits They're Real. It's so good. I tried the Roller Ball one, Roller Lash one, and I didn't like it. This one is essentially the best. Sorry if I moved my camera, it ran out of storage. Yeah, the NYX eyebrow pencil is the next thing I got. Um, it is so good. It's a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil. And it just goes on so nicely on your brows, which I had threaded today. So they are looking much nicer than usual. And then the last two things I got are contour and highlight from e.l.f. So I bought the Hourglass Concealer, the viral one, and it's really good, but sometimes it can be too heavy of a coverage, like too thick. So um, I'm going to try the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo um, Concealer, which I've used before, but I think the shade I had last time was too light. So I'll let you know how I get along with this. And the Halo Wand Contour from e.l.f. I got this because it's a cheap alternative to my milk 
cosmetics one that I'm waiting to be delivered. So um, in the meantime, I obviously need something for the next few days because I'm literally all out of my makeup. Um, so yeah, I've got this one instead. It's a liquid contour. This is in the colour medium tan. And yeah, we'll see how I get along with it. I like the ones that have this kind of applicator. It's a bit like the Charlotte Tilbury applicator. Um, so I'll see if it's a good dupe for that because I tried the Charlotte Tilbury contour ones and I found them to just be a bit too liquidy and runny and they just um exploded everywhere all the time i think a lot of people said that and have kind of gotten a bit over the charlotte tilbury contour ones um i love 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 their blusher ones the matte blush ones oh my god they're my absolute favorite liquid blush but yeah the contour ones are not it for me for me it's definitely number one is the milk uh cosmetics bronzer stick so yeah can't wait for that to come but in the meantime I'll see how I get along. So we've come for Mexican food and we've got some different margaritas. This is the spicy one. Ooh. This is the classic one. Ooh. And this is the watermelon. So let's try this, okay. I think I want Oh, I'm We're going for afternoon tea for my birthday. I'll be able to show you guys a bit better when I get there. My full look. We're going to the Connaught Hotel for afternoon tea and I'm really excited. It's gonna be me and some of my closest girlfriends. Um, it's not all of them. Some of them had other commitments. Some of them are fasting. Some of them have Lent. So um, yeah, different food restrictions, etc. So yeah, it's gonna be a few of my close friends and I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's um it's not no it's my vlog oh my God. that's why she thought it was a picture she's like i can't believe you got the canon g7x <laughs> should i quickly explain left hand side work your way to the to the to the right uh, first one you have cucumber um, with creme fresh poppy seeds and uh, capers then you have something you reach egg yolk with uh, black truffle mayonnaise and mustard press Guys, important time. <laughs> Why do you sound like Barry from the Chuckle Brothers? Like to me, to you. <laughs> that does have <laughs> <laughs> to you, to you, to you, to you. <laughs> Why is everyone downing? Oh, not really downed it. <laughs> she felt like she was. <laughs> okay, DJ Khaled. <laughs> Should we get some class as well? But you have to maintain. And we've ordered some more. Wait, we've ordered some more of the egg sandwiches because those were good. Oh, that one, and then the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Always late, but worth the wait. Yeah, exactly. I like it. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone's, <laughs> Someone's got a bit. <laughs> box, box. <laughs> Nat, Nat's become a bit into F1 now and a bit into Lando. Oh, yeah. oh Lando. She's been Lando. Oh, wow. A bit, a bit. <laughs> a bit. If you should know, then it, his most famous. Um, like uh, over the phone. What's it called when they do the thing oh, on the yeah. radio? His most radio. famous, his most famous radio is him singing Friday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe I will write that. No, okay, okay. Sorry, Sorry, Lando. Lando. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this flower. Thank you. Yeah, let me explain you what we have. Eh? So we start from the top with the chocolate. It's only a photo shoot once. <laughs> So I thought to kind of end this vlog I would do a haul of all of my birthday presents but before I do I'd like to tell you guys today is Wednesday the 20th of March and Iranian New Year so to all my followers uh, whether you are Persian or not or whether you celebrate it or not Noruz Mubarak I hope that this year brings you so much prosperity, health, happiness, wealth, everything that your heart desires. And I'll give you a sneak peek of our Nora's table. It's been moved from where it was last night when I filmed like our little TikTok. I have cute TikToks of my family from Nora's time. So if you guys want to follow me on there, it's Persian underscore bunny. Persian year is so exciting and the way we set the table is in a specific way. You need to have certain things on there that start with an S. So in Farsi, they need to start with an S. So uh, apple, for example, is Sib. So it might not start with an S in English, but it does in Farsi. But anyway, let me start with my gift. First one I'll start with is this mystery box because I actually don't know who it's from. It just got delivered to me. But I know it's from my birthday and I think it's from my best friend Celia. And guys, it is the croissant candle. I can't tell you guys how excited I was when I opened this box because I've seen some vloggers who I follow posting about this saying it smells incredible and that it makes your whole house smell like a croissant. So I cannot wait to burn this. So whoever it is, most likely Celia, thank you so much. And I can't wait to use it. Next up from my friend Nat, I got a 111 uh, neck and decolletage mask. I'm excited to try this. 111 skin is actually devised by um, Dr. Alexandrides, who is a plastic surgeon based in Harley Street. And I think, I don't think his wife's a doctor, but I think she helps with his business and I've seen them post. So it's quite cool that it's like a UK based company. She also got me a one and a half hour sound healing therapy session, which I cannot wait. Um, is it therapy? I don't know, I'd call it therapy. I love um, going to sound baths. I go to them regularly in my gym and I'm really into meditating and yeah, just anything kind of spiritual I'm really into. So I thought that was such a personal and thoughtful gift. I love it so much. And then from um, my friend Lily's mum, I got this diary, which I think is so adorable. And I love you so much. Thank you. It's a gratitude journal. And I absolutely love that because like I said, I'm such a spiritual person. So it's really cool. It says daily gratitudes, focus, goal trackers, highlights of the day, something that made you smile and just free thoughts. Um, so I really like that. I think it's such a cute pen that goes with it as well. The color is lovely and it's a really nice concept and I can't wait to use it. And I just think it was so sweet of her to even get me anything. And then from my friend Lily, I got this hourglass lip 
I think it's like a lip tint, is it called? Um, I already tried it on when she gave it to me. It's in the color Desire, but I will just put it on for you guys to see as well. So you twist it from the bottom and it looks like this. And it feels really creamy and nice. I think it's one of those that is perfect to just have in your handbag um, to top up, especially at work when I'm in clinic. I feel like after lunch, my lipstick always goes, so it's really good for me to maybe keep in my work bag. From my parents, I got an envelope of cash because sometimes they let me just choose my own present, so um, this was one of those years. And my mum also booked for me, her, and signed it to go for afternoon tea, which she wrote up in front of this as well, um, at the Dorchester. So as you guys would have seen in this vlog, I love afternoon tea. I find it so wholesome and fun. Just have a little glass of champagne, have some great British sandwiches and cakes and patisserie. And yeah, for me, it's just such a classic thing to do. If any of you guys aren't from England and you want to try something really cultural that's so fun, like British culture, I'd say go for an afternoon tea. Go, to for, go for fish and chips and go to a pub as well. That's probably as British as it gets. But afternoon tea is one of my favourite things to do. And um, yeah, so she's booked that for me. I love the one at the Dorchester, so can't wait. And then Sol got me loads of gifts from Versace. Um, I will start off with this one. It is this pink and... It's pink, white, and black, and it is this bikini top. It's so gorgeous. I like that it's got three colors in it because that way I can match three different um, bottoms with it. So either pink, white, gold, or black. Four different bottoms, I guess. But it's harder to find something in this gold color to match with, but this is so gorgeous. Um, my gym has a spa, and I like to go for a sauna session pr pretty much after each time I go to the gym. Um, especially if I have the time to go. I really like to just have a little spa sash and chill out and I'm always looking for new bikinis to wear to the gym because I feel like I wear the same comfy ones on a rotate so I'm really appreciative of this and also have some trips planned for this summer so definitely cannot go wrong with a bikini. Next one she got me, this is the bottoms for it but it is again this black and white Versace one and what's so cool about this forget the fact that the print is gorgeous is that it's actually double sided so the other side is just plain black and then it says Versace on the back of it so it's really simple and fun and I can wear it both ways which I love and then the top to this is also double sided in the exact same print um and this is what it looks like and then from the back or the other side it's just got that same Versace on the inside that has the other way so I can wear it so many ways. She ordered me the bottoms for the pink one too but it hasn't come yet because they didn't have my size in stock when she was in the store so um, in the meantime I couldn't whilst I'm waiting. I mean I'm not in a rush I can just wait for the bottoms to come but I could wear it with any other bottoms that I want. And then the last gift for me to open is from Sina and it's from Louis Vuitton. Sina and I love buying each other like summery themed gifts. I guess this gift from Sol was summery themed as well, but Sina loves like anything vacation themed and I guess I do too because my favourite, if you guys watch any of my travel vlogs, they're mostly to really warm climates and I love like lying by beach. You'll never really catch me on a cold holiday. So um, I get a lot of use out of my summer clothes and I like investing in nice pieces of summer clothes, accessories and um, shoes, etc. So she got me this, which I will show you guys. It is these black monogrammed Louis Vuitton sandals. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really don't like how it looks on my feet and I will show you. So, can you guys see? So this is kind of how it looks on. That was like such a bad show and tell, but it looks like this. My feet like holding onto dear life so it doesn't fall off. Um, and I don't know. Maybe now it's going on me a little bit, but I just don't, I just don't love them, I can't lie. So I'm going to change them, um, and she already knows, so um, yeah, I'm not hurting her feelings because she kind of randomly chose it. It wasn't like super, super, like she thought about it for ages, so she's not as upset, or she's not upset that I'm changing it, which is good for you. 
Um, but if you guys have any suggestions of another sandal, because I already have like, I have like all the different Hermes ones. So I have like the Oran, the Chypres, I have the Kelly ones, like the thong one, which is so uncomfortable. But the Chypres are comfy and the um, Orans are comfy. So I might get some pink Orans or I might get... I don't know if anyone has a think of like even if I could even change them for like some heels I was thinking I need some heels but like there's no heels that are standing out to me oh maybe the Alaya ones that have the heart at the front I might go for that now that I've had a little think but anyway any of you guys can think what you think I would like that I could swap that out for let me know before I end my birthday vlog here I just want to kind of give a little reflection of how far I've come for myself and also to kind of shed some wisdom for you guys, I just turned 28 and I think when I was younger, the expectation of where I should be when I'm 28, what I should be doing and everything was so different and it's, life is not exactly how I expected it and I don't mean that in a negative way, actually quite in a positive way, I think my life is so different to how I expected it and I've achieved so much for myself, which I'm so proud of, but I feel like society puts such a pressure on you with certain ages to have accomplished certain things, whether that be in your career, whether that be in your personal life or anything. And I just wanna tell you guys that everything will happen for you at the right time. And whatever's meant to be for you will never ever pass you. I believe that so wholeheartedly, that if something is meant for you and it's on the other side of the world, it does not matter how, it will find its way to you. And if something is not meant for you, even if it's in the palm of your hands, you will never be able to grasp it. So I have faith in that and I wanted to just share that wisdom with you guys that like if you're at a stage in your life where you're just a bit like unsure, I just wanna let you know that everything will work itself out and it'll work itself out at the perfect time and you're exactly where you're meant to be. And so long as you understand that and you appreciate that and you take the time to reflect and be grateful for everything that you have, everything that you will achieve and everything that you already have achieved and everything that you are even thinking of to be able to put your mind to. Like we should be so grateful that we even have like a concept of something that we might want to do. Some people um, might even be struggling without any inspiration. And trust me, if you just look at everything that you have and you express that gratitude, I'm sure the universe will open up these doors for you for everything that you need and all that your heart desires. And I really wanna share some of my positive energy and love with you guys to end out this vlog. I love you all so much and thank you again for all the birthday wishes that everyone has sent me and i will see you in my vlog next week bye